Hello and welcome to this video. As I promised to give you feedback on what we've done in this property. So I just want to give you a bit of feedback so you can understand and see exactly what we did um, uh, when I posted this video a couple of months ago. So come on in. I just forgot to send that video to you, but now I'm doing it. Now I'm going to actually send it to you so you can see exactly what we've done. So come on in. So basically what we did in this kitchen was we had to hack this wall here um, because the problem we had was damp. We had, we had damp here, damp was penetrating from the outside, coming inside. So what we did, we hacked this wall, we, we, we did the damp course, tanked it, and then obviously re and re it. So where we had the major issues, and then obviously we changed the floor. The, all this was just concrete, so we changed all that to ensure that it's really, really sort of appealing and clean and tidy. So where we had the ma major issues was here. So as, as, as you remember prior, we literally hacked from, from, from the bottom here, all the way here, we, 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 damp, we do the damp seal course, we tanked it, as well as plaster and skim. As you can see now here, all this bit here has been, has been done now. You can see all that bit is done. So we, we also changed the floor here because the floor wasn't that great. We had a carpet. So what we realized was we needed to have laminate flooring to ensure that it is durable and it can last very, very long. As you can see, we've done it really, really nice. And again, white is the new magnolia. I love white because obviously it brings bring that vibrant in to get the house really nice looking and fresh. So the other room we had the issue was also in this room here. Again, this was the, this was the worst room. So what we did was again, we hacked from here. We hacked all the way down. We again, um, uh, did the damp course, we tanked it, plastered it, and then we also skimmed it. As you can see, we've done all that bit there and all here. So obviously we had a bit of moist hair now. We've got the painter now just to come and finish it off. So and again, you can see we've done it really nice. Again, we have a laminate flooring in here. It looks really nice, clean, and tidy because this is what tenants are looking for. It's not, it's not something that could not last longer. Laminate floor and having white walls is very, very good. The reason why I use white now is because when a tenant moves out, you could easily paint the property and get it ready. Whereas if you've got magnolia, you want to go back to white, it takes you really, really long time for you to be able to do it. So I'm going to take you back um, uh, outside so I can show you the utility area as well, where we've done a bit of work. So this is the utility area. Again, we've, we've tied it up a little bit. And then obviously we've got the bathroom there. Is the the, the um, WC here again is going. You can see all that has been done now ready for the tenant. So obviously I'd love to take you upstairs because that's where we have did a bit of work as well. We painted, as you can see, we painted and decorated the whole house again because we wanted to bring that feel to it so that it looks uh, modern as well as appealing to um, the sort of clients that we're looking for. So if I take you upstairs, Again, massive landing here. Again, we painted and decorated. You can see the wall. We had a green sort of color here to um, tidy it up a little bit. And then we have white. White and green was the, was the theme really because we want to bring that color in so that it feels really homely. And the landing here is massive. You can see it's been done really, really nice. We sort out the boiler because we, we needed to have it done and serviced. That's already done. And again, it's working in a good condition, right? So. Again, as you can see, we painted and decorated the whole house. Bathroom. And again, what we did was bathroom was really nice, but we had a window issue here. That window could not open and close. So what we did was I get the, the a window tech technician to, 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 to sort that out to ensure it's working really, really well. You can see the bathroom, massive bathroom, really, really good. Okay. We did exactly the same thing here. We painted and decorated it. As you can see, it's very flesh, nice, clean and tidy. And it's a massive double room. You, not massive double room, it's a good size double room, but you could fit a double bed in here as well, which is still leave you with lots of space. That's the first bedroom. And I'll take you to the second bedroom. Again, the second bedroom, you cannot complain. It's a good size, similar sizes. And again, we painted and decorated it only because we want to bring that film. Nothing wrong. And we had, actually, we had an issue, if you remember, we had leaks coming from the ceiling up there 
because what happened was we had a problem with the roof where when it rains the water goes through the cavity wall and then it travels all the way through the walls and then all the way downstairs so what we did basically is to go back and have a look at the roof we lift a couple of tiles i think we lift few few row of tiles and roof tiles and we, we we redone it and then realign it properly so that the water would flash on top of the gutter instead of going through the cavity wall that has now stopped any of this leak as you can see there it's all bone dry so there's no issue with that anymore we've amended that that problem okay i'll take you to the master bedroom which is my favorite room this is the this is the master bedroom i love it the the reason why i love this room is because it's absolutely massive it's a big room it's got two windows and obviously it's a it, it's a family room and the house is really really big um it's one of the biggest in the town actually that's what i heard I, I don't know but that's what they've told me and also um i like it because you can have two sort of lights coming in during the morning you've got different lights coming in and in the, in the evening you've got another lights coming in as well again we had leaks coming through the ceiling through the roof all that has been sorted out now is bone dried and it looks absolutely amazing so this was a minor project not like a massive work to be done we had a tenant here obviously she did not tell us what the issues were so it, it became worse and again one of the learning things you need to you need to be inspecting your properties all the time to ensure that things don't go wrong and they leave it that way so what we did was in this house particularly we hacked all the ground floor did a dump course tanked it plastered and skim it and then paint the whole house Upstairs, what the issue we had here was the roof, as I've told you just now, water was coming through the roof, there are so many leaks coming through the ceiling and all the rest of it. Tenant did not tell us, so we had to come in and had it, I saw the problem. And again, we had to pay um, the roofers to go back in and have a look at the roof to ensure there's no leak coming in and to ensure the, the house is water. Now we've done the works, it did not take us long. We had issues during COVID lockdown and all the rest of it, but we're able to complete it on the time we've set, which is absolutely amazing. The, the, the reason why I'm doing this video is because I promised you I was gonna show you the end product. So this is the end product, we've done it. Tenant being referenced now, ready to go. And tenant is looking to move in this Friday, which is, a, which is an absolutely good news for us. And uh, we'll rent this property on and move to, move to a different project. And hopefully the tenant that are moving in here will look after the property. Any issue they had, they will let, let us know. Again, thank you so much for um, watching my video. If you like this video or any of my videos, don't forget to hit the like button below and subscribe to my YouTube channel for more of these videos. Thank you so much for um, watching. I look forward to sharing in the next video.